Hi, welcome back. I hope you have had a lovely break over the winter holiday, however you celebrate. And Happy New Year 2019. Can you believe it? I think this year is going to be quite an uplifting one in many ways, but I think there's also going to be a lot of uh, healing crises on various different levels, both personal and worldwide, because we're we're in a healing process right now. The whole planet is moving into this new vibration, this fifth density, which is a lighter, higher, happier version of what we have been ploughing, trudging through for the last goodness knows how long, and. From all I've read and watched and learned and intuitively understood, um, th this is an amazing time to be alive. And we won't realise that, I don't think, until a bit later on, perhaps. Or maybe we already are. Maybe, maybe you are fully in the moment and fully appreciating what we're all going through and looking back on where you've come from like myself, I've had a hell of a journey, um, which has been intense, let's say that. So today I wanted to share something that came to me. Um, I'm a bit hesitant to use the word channeled, but it sort of flowed into my head and out of my pen eventually, because when it came to me, I was sitting on the throne <laughs> A very nice contem contemplative place to be and I think sometimes when you're just sitting there and letting things pass away as they do naturally I think you actually find yourself in a very meditative space. I know when I was very stressed at work the one place I would always run to to get a little bit of a break some peace and quiet just a place to collect myself was the loo <laughs> so <laughs> it's a quiet space. But this came to me uh, over 10 years ago. It was before I was a mum. Um, I have it written in front of me. and I'm, I'm, I thought there was the date on there. I, I would have liked to have told you that more, more precisely. Um, yeah, so this is a story that I just called Everything. And before I begin this spiritual story time, it's very important to realise that so much of what I wrote here only became reaffirmed to me a lot later on. This was not me regurgitating things that I had learned, read about, become exposed to. There was a little inkling of that, but not a great deal. And it's only with hindsight that I can see, wow, this, this was something special. This is something to share. So here I am, sharing it. So are you ready for story time? Because it's story time. It's story time. Shh, listen and feel everything. In the beginning was everything. Everything looked outside of itself and saw nothing. It wasn't content. Everything wanted to explore itself, so it exploded into a million, billion, zillion, which isn't a proper word, but you get the idea, pieces. But everything forgot what it was. Each tiny little piece of everything grew lonely. Very, very slowly, the tiny little pieces came together, a few at a time, and made patterns. These were quite lovely, but they felt that they could be more beautiful still. Eventually the patterns became really complicated and very different from each other. Everything still didn't realise that all these different patterns were itself. Some of everything was content, some was scared, some was hungry, some angry. In fact, everything was every emotion all at once. The patterns became more complex and more beautiful, sometimes 
even more ugly. Everything began talking to itself, at first in movements, smells, touches, colours and sounds. Then parts of everything found that they could make words, but the words of one part were different to the words of another part. The parts sometimes looked very different from each other too. They didn't understand each other and couldn't believe their dreams that they were both part of everything. So they got very angry with each other. Sometimes they just didn't even try talking to each other. Sometimes they didn't want each other to be there at all. And so they made that happen. But they didn't stop feeling angry. They started to look at themselves and their dreams and realised that they were sad and lonely. Occasionally, one tiny part would remember that it was everything and feel warm and content, but it would forget it again. Or if it did remember and tried to tell all of the other parts, they didn't understand or want to believe it. Well, most of them. Sometimes a few parts remembered some of it and made new patterns. They said, this is what everything looks like, though others disagreed. So they got angry with each other again. Until one day, they all started to remember. One day, they started to listen to those few wise little parts who had remembered that they were part of everything and that everything was part of them. So they looked at the patterns they had made with new eyes and saw that they had used the same shapes and the same colours to make their patterns, each one beautiful in its own right. Apart from bits around the edges they had spoiled by getting angry. They looked at all the patterns together and saw that they were all part of the same pattern. Just then, everything began to wake up from its long dream. Sleepily and with great care and love, it started to bring all of its parts together again. All of the parts remembered that they were everything. With a sigh and a smile, everything remembered all of the parts, each and every one. The beginning. I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope something about it resonated with you and I would love to hear your thoughts on this tale that just it kind of appeared it was just there and it was very insistent that I write it down <laughs> this doesn't happen to me very often although I feel myself as a little part gradually awakening and realising that I'm part of a pattern that is part of a greater pattern, that is part of the whole. And sometimes, for a fleeting moment, I can feel that truth that has been reflected in so many ways that I am all that is. You are all that is. We are are quite literally one. So, <laughs> big Reiki hugs, big Reiki hugs to you all. And I'd love to hear your comments. All right, you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.